now we must have to discuss the blood supply of the upper limb and blood supply of the upper limb dekhen we will start from from the arch of aorta se hum start karein uh, for example here you have the arch of aorta like this okay and from this arch of aorta three branches are coming out one two three okay first branch on this side on the right side this one this is known as brachiocephalic trunk this is your brachiocephalic trunk okay this one it is your left common carotid artery and this one this is your left subclavian artery so first mcq which you must have to remember that left subclavian artery it is coming out directly from the arch of aorta right subclavian artery it is not coming out from the arch of aorta this brachiocephalic trunk will divide into two that is the right common carotid artery and this one will be your right subclavian artery okay so this is your first mcq which you must have to remember right subclavian artery it is coming out from the brachiocephalic trunk okay first point which you must have to remember now this subclavian artery this subclavian artery it is going downward and please remember when this subclavian artery it will become the axillary artery at which point at the oh outer border of rib first rib at the outer border of first rib the subclavian artery this artery it will become your which artery it will become your axillary artery now this axillary artery will go downward and when it go downward see here at the lower border of teres major muscle teres major muscle it will become your brachial artery okay so this is the next mcq which we must have to remember subclavian artery okay it is going to become the axillary artery at the outer border of the first rib okay so here there will be some first rib and from its upper border it will become the axillary artery this axillary artery will go downward and when it reaches up to the lower border of teres major muscle it will become your what brachial artery this brachial artery will now divide into two arteries okay so on the thumb side it will be the radial artery on the medial side it will be your ulnar artery ulnar artery will give their branches known as common interosseous artery this common interosseous artery this common interosseous artery it will divide into anterior interosseous artery and posterior interosseous artery and now it is going to give in blood supply to your <coughs> forearm region but see here this radial artery it will go here downward into the palm region and into the palm region it will become deep palmar arch so radial artery will form your deep palmar arch radial artery 
ulnar artery will go downward so this is the ulnar artery it is going downward and now it is also making here an arch this is known as superficial palmar arch the superficial palmar arch it is formed by the ulnar artery okay so, ul so ulnar artery and radial artery both are anastomosing each other here by these superficial and the palmar arch. Okay. So, this is your whole, you can say, blood supply of the upper limb. Now, important points are where? Important points are in relation to your subclavian artery and important points are in relation to your axillary artery. So what is the important point? Number one, your axillary artery, okay, axillary artery, at the lower outer border of first rib, it becomes your axillary artery, okay. So this axillary artery, it is divided into three parts, okay. It is going to divide into three parts. First part, second part, and third part. According to in relation to the muscle, the muscle name is your pectoralis minor muscle. Okay? Dekhen, superficial palmar arch, it is formed by the ulnar artery. Deep palmar arch, it is formed by the radial artery. And now they are anastomosing each other. That's why whenever one or artery is blocked, the blood supply to the hand will be gone through the other artery. This co-op test also that is known as the Allen's test. To check the patency of the blood supply of the uh, of the palm hand region of your other artery, etc. etc. Okay. So now they Now I will go once again back now. Or you can see it again. See First is the arch of aorta. From the arch of aorta, three branches are coming out. First branch is brachiocephalic trunk. Second is left common carotid artery. Third is your left subclavian artery. Okay. Now this brachiocephalic trunk will divide into two. Right common carotid artery and right subclavian artery. Now this subclavian artery will go downward. Okay. And as it passes through the outer border of the first rib, it will become the axillary artery. Now this axillary artery is present in this axillary region. And this axillary artery, it is divided into three parts according to your pectoralis minor muscle. So pectoral minor muscle is dividing your axillary artery into three parts. First part is giving one branch, second part is giving two branches, third part is giving three branches. Now this axillary artery, as it passes to the lower border of the teres major muscle, it becomes the brachial artery. And now this brachial artery is going downward, it is passing here to the cubital fossa as it is the content of the cubital fossa, remember, MBBR, median nerve. Then you have your brachial artery. Then you have the tendon of the biceps. And then you have your radial nerve, MBBR. Okay. Now this radial artery is dividing into two arteries, radial artery and ulnar artery. Radial artery will go downward into the hand region. And radial artery is going to form the deep palmar arch. Ulnar artery it will divide into the, it will give a branch known as common interosseous artery. At that common interosseous artery will divide into the anterior interosseous artery, which is going to give blood supply to the anterior part and posterior interosseous artery giving blood supply to the posterior part. Okay. Ah, here you can add one more point that this brachial artery, it will give one branch that is your deep brachial artery or profunda brachialis artery. This deep brachial artery, it is giving blood supply to the posterior compartment of the arm region. Okay. So this is how your whole blood supply of the upper limb. Now, 
What are the MCQs which you must have to remember? Number one point. Axillary artery. Ab dekhe. Sabse pehle, you must have to know subclavian artery. Subclavian artery is giving branches. Okay, it is also divided into three parts. Three parts. When I explain you subclavian artery, I explain to you. From first part, it is giving VIT branch. From second part, it is giving vitamin C. From third part, it is giving vitamin D branch. Vitamin C, D. This is the branches of your subclavian artery. So what is VIT? V is your vertebral artery. I is your what? Internal thoracic artery. Internal thoracic artery. Okay. And T is your what? T is your thyro cervical trunk. Thyro cervical trunk. C is your what? C is your costo cervical trunk. And D is very important. D is your dorsal scapular artery. Very important. Because it is going to help you in the anastomosis around the scapula bone. If there is any blockage to the upper limb, this dorsal scapular artery will help you to uh, remain the blood supply of the upper limb uh, to be remain properly. Okay. So now see here. This is your subclavian artery now. So this subclavian artery, see here, when it passes through the outer border of first rib, first rib, it will become which artery? Answer is axillary artery. And you remember that axillary artery along with the brachial plexus cords are present in axillary sheet. And then I explained to you at that time that axillary vein is not a content of your axillary sheet. It is outside the axillary sheet. But axillary artery and brachial plexus cords are present in the axillary sheet. And these brachial plexus cords, medial cord, lateral cord, and posterior cord all are in relation to your axillary artery. Okay, all are in relation to your which artery? Answer is axillary artery. Okay, now this axillary artery, see here, it will run till the lower border of teres major muscle. And after that, it will become your brachial artery. Now important is what? Branches of the axillary artery. So this axillary artery it is divided into three parts by your muscle known as pectoralis minor muscle. So pectoralis minor muscle is dividing the axillary artery into three parts now. Now see here. First part. First part, it is giving the branch known as superior thoracic artery. It is also giving blood supply to your mammary gland also. Second part, it is giving branches to thoracoacromial artery. And second branch is your lateral thoracic artery. Lateral thoracic artery. Two branches from the axillary artery. And third one, which is important, it is giving three branches. Three branches. Number one is your subscapular artery. Subscapular artery. And then you have anterior and posterior circumflex humeral arteries. Okay, circumflex humeral artery. This is your humeral artery going around the neck of the humerus bone. Okay, so this is your whole blood supply of the upper limb. Now see here, 
This posterior circumflex humeral artery, posterior circumflex humeral artery, along with axillary nerve, it is present in which space? Quadrangular space. And if there is any fracture of the neck of the humerus bone, your which nerve will be damaged? Answer will be axillary nerve. Answer will be posterior circumflex humeral artery. If there is a fracture of the shaft of the humerus bone, shaft of the humerus bone, see here, radial nerve will be damaged and along with radial nerve, this artery, which artery? Deep brachial artery can be damaged. Okay? So these are your MCQs which you must have to remember. Clear to all of you? So we can draw this diagram ourselves also. Now we can draw this diagram ourselves. See here. Uh, we will start from subclavian artery. Okay. So see here. This is you can say your first rib. First rib. So first rib se pehle, this will be your which artery? This is your subclavian artery. And this subclavian artery, see here. Kar Abhi repeat kar Don't worry. See here. This subclavian artery, it is giving here branches. V, I, T. Then giving here branch C. Then giving here branch D. VIT is what? Vertebral artery. I is your what? Internal thoracic artery. It will go downward like this. Internal thoracic artery or internal memory artery. So this is your internal thoracic artery. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. And T is your thyrocervical trunk. Thyrocervical trunk. Okay. C is your costal cervical trunk. And D is important. Dorsal scapular artery. Dorsal. So D here I will write. D is your what? Dorsal scapular artery. Okay. Now this is your thyrocervical trunk. Hai, this one. T. This thyrocervical trunk also has branches. And mnemonic is SIT. S-I-T. What is S? S is your suprascapular artery. I is your what? Inferior thyroid artery. Very important. Giving blood supply to the thyroid gland. Superior thyroid artery is coming out directly from the carotid artery. Okay. Inferior thyroid artery. It is a branch of your which artery? Answer is thyrocervical trunk which is a branch of your subclavian artery. Okay? Clear? And T is your what? Transverse cervical artery. Okay? So, this is the branches which you must have to remember. So, here you can see, thyrocervical trunk, thyrocervical trunk ka mnemonic has sit, which is important. Subclavian artery mnemonic is vitamin C and vitamin D. D is your dorsal scapular artery. But in some population, dorsal scapular artery can also be coming out from the transverse cervical artery. Okay. Now see here. After passing through the first rib, now it becomes your what? Now this is your axillary artery. Axillary artery. And as it passes through the lower border of series major, I have M in capital letter, series major, it becomes what? It will become your brachial artery. Brachial artery. It will be divided into radial artery, 
ulnar artery ulnar artery will form superficial palmar arch radial artery it will form deep palmar arch and now they are going to anastomose and giving blood supply to the hand region ulnar artery it will give here a branch that is known as common interosseous artery and from common interosseous artery there will be anterior interosseous artery and posterior interosseous artery which is giving blood supply to the anterior and posterior compartment of the forearm okay ab yahan pe pecto yahan pe this is your axillary artery now so this axillary artery it is divided in three parts by this muscle what is the name of this muscle pectoralis minor muscle not to first this is the first part this is the second part and this is the third part of your axillary artery in relation to the pectoralis minor muscle okay so see here from first part your superior thyroid artery is coming a uh, superior thyroid keh raha superior thoracic artery superior thoracic artery is coming which is also giving blood supply to your mammary glands okay here internal thoracic artery was there they are also giving blood supply to the mammary gland superior thoracic artery also giving blood supply to the mammary gland second part from here two arteries are coming out one is thoracoacromial artery your thoracoacromial artery and second is your lateral thoracic artery lateral thoracic artery it is also giving blood supply to the mammary gland and from third part this is the third part here one artery is coming out that is your subscapular artery and two arteries are coming out here which is going around the head uh, neck of the humerus bone that is your anterior and posterior circumflex humeral arteries okay now what is important here to check the patency of the blood supply to the uh, kehle aap palm region you have to perform allen test allen test is what to check the patency of the ulnar artery okay radial artery it will give blood supply mainly to your thumb and index finger and medial three and half fingers it is given blood supply by your ulnar artery through superficial palmar arch superficial mein as u so you you can remember it is the ulnar artery which is making the superficial palmar arch deep palmar arch it is made by your radial artery okay so this is your whole you can say uh, blood supply to the upper limb now important point what is here see here uh, this posterior circumflex humeral artery posterior circumflex humeral artery along with the axillary nerve they are present in quadrangular space and if there is a fracture of the neck of the humerus bone this axillary nerve and posterior circumflex humeral artery can be damaged okay this is one important point second important point this brachial artery it is also giving here a branch which is giving blood supply to the posterior compartment of the arm this is known as your deep brachial artery so deep brachial artery is in close relation to your along with your radial nerve okay so if there is a fracture of the shaft of the humerus bone radial nerve can be damaged and it can lead to damage to your deep brachial artery also okay so this is your whole you can say upper limb blood supply etc clear to everyone this is clear clear so this is your topic of upper limb completed
लास्ट स्लाइड का स्क्रीन शॉट लेना ये वाला दिस वन तो प्लीज ड्रॉ दिस डायग्राम वेन यू ड्रॉ दिस डायग्राम देन इट विल बी इजी फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड इजी फॉर यू 